Well, there is a ton of bluegill down there. Holy smokes. And we got just the bait today to target these massive schools of bluegill stacked up on these brush piles. Well, today is the, well, for me anyway, it's gonna be the last ice fishing video of the 2022-2023 season. It's the first week of March here. And uh, these bluegill actually are starting to move a little bit shallower. I'm only about 16 foot of water right now. And uh, they're stacked up on a brush pile. There's a decent amount of good sized bluegill down there too. Today's video is sponsored by Crappie Monster. You can go to OTH Fishing. Yeah, we change up the website. Go to OTHfishing.com, use promo code DAVIS, that is D-A-V-I-S, all capital letters. Get 20% off the entire website. And uh, today we're actually using these specific bluegill baits. These are called the Outbreak. They're one inch uh, plastics. Today I'm gonna be using this guy right here. Got it on a 16th ounce tungsten jig head. One eighth ounce plastic. I might need to downsize the jig head since we are going after bluegill. I think I had this set up for crappie last time I was using it. Let's see if we got a smaller jig. A jig head. I think I do right here. And uh, the reason they designed these baits is specifically for bluegill fishing, but also for ice fishing for both crappie, perch, and any other panfish species you want to chase after. Let's see if we can drop down. I might need to change up color. I might have to go to a red. I think I was using this for crappie last time I was fishing with it. And the crappie really like that. Kind of more of a natural bait fish pattern. Oh, come on, dude. Might try these red. Let's do that. They're not quite committing all the way. So down to, downsize to a 64th ounce jig. Kind of help this bite out. It seems like they're... For whatever reason, they're really finicky. You'd think they'd be super aggressive here coming into March, moving, starting to move shallower to these shallower brush piles. I think like a couple weeks ago, these fish were out in 20 plus foot. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Got him that time. There we go. There's bluegill number one. I don't think he's that big. No, he'd be a good eater. I'm not going to keep any tonight. I got enough crappie in the freezer. So, well, quick, quick release on that guy. Bluegill number one on the crappie monster outbreak. Let's get back down there. There's a ton more fish down there. There's actually some bigger fish on the other side. I can see them on a live scope. There's some bigger fish out there don't know what they are. Big bluegill down there. Let's get, get this jig down there, catch some more. I think I've noticed throughout this ice fishing season, bluegill really love this blood red color. And uh, both crappie monster and Euro tackle make these red style plastics. And uh, it mimics a blood worm, which I don't know if blood worms are on the the wood itself, but you'll definitely find them in this softer bottom area. Oh wow, here comes another one. Coming in hot. Oh, this guy's ready to go. Yeah, bam, just that little downsize. Went from a 30, well I was at a 16th tungsten, downsize to a 64th tungsten. And catching some bluegill. See you buddy. Now you're putting fish on the ice. Just that simple adjustment. There are some nine to 10 inch bluegill in this lake, so I've caught them. They're pretty nice. I'm not gonna keep them, but oh, that fell right into his mouth. That dropped it right into his mouth. I was actually a little surprised at how much ice was still up here. We've got a few rains re recently, and uh, there's almost two foot of ice on these lakes, which, which means it's gonna be a while for the boat to get on the lake. Thank goodness the Mississippi River's wide open right now. Here we go, wow. 
This guy's gonna smack it right now. Oh shoot, I might need to adjust that plastic. Typically they won't hit it when the plastic's not in line. But that guy did. Sometimes I'm wrong. Oh wow. Hard to believe that just that simple adjustment of going down to this, this little 64th ounce jig and that smaller plastic. Red patterns, it's the way to go. It's still taking a while. Oh my goodness, fell right into his mouth. <laughs> oh no, he's on the, is he on the camera? Here he comes. That's a little bit chunky of a fish. That thing fell right into his mouth. This is only about a six incher. There are some bigger bluegills down there. We just gotta entice them. That's the one thing I love about the having an underwater camera. Oh no, he took my plastic. Give it back. Give okay. Well, I guess he can eat the plastic. Having this underwater camera. I mean you are hundred percent certain when a fish bites it. Plus it's, I mean, if you got kids, when it comes to ice fishing, underwater camera is the way to go. Just to have the kids be able to watch these bluegill or crappie eat these jigs. And this, by the way, is the Aquaview HD7i. I was going to do a full video talking about the difference between some of these setups. You can get some smaller underwater cameras that are much more portable um, and probably probably less expensive than this one. I mean, some of these underwater cameras now are only a few hundred bucks. I think this one was like 500 at the time. So if you're looking for something for ice fishing, there's obviously trade-offs, but when it comes to knowing spots and you know there's a brush pile or a rock pile or a weed edge, the camera's the way to go. If you, if you know the lake, if you're not, if you don't have any idea where fish are on the lake, the camera may not be the best option for you. Probably looking at a flasher unit or some other Maybe possibly forward-facing sonar. Oh, there's a that's a good bluegill on the screen right there. I'm not gonna get down there fast enough to get him though. So for those of you on open water right now, mostly down south, I was actually just on the phone with uh, Chris Gill from Asleep at the Reel, and he said it was already like 70 or 80 degrees down in Texas. For those of you that are about to be bed fishing sometime soon for these crappie and bluegill. This little bait underneath the bobber setup, little bobber jig, and this little guy. You can catch a ton of fish doing that this spring. Oh, yes. This could be a decent, oh no, he came off. Dang it. That felt like a decent fish. But you're gonna catch a ton of crappie and bluegill with this little setup this spring. Obviously, we're still probably about a month away from open water on our lakes like this. Our river systems are open, so, but we're still probably a month and a half away from our spawning cycle up north, this far up north anyway. So we probably won't be using a bobber setup anytime soon. All right, big fish. Where's the big fish? That's a that's a decent fish. Got him. <laughs> You gotta love it when they're just biting like crazy. There's minor adjustments, and then they feed like crazy. Cool little bluegill. See you, buddy. Now these fish are gonna hang out here. You guys can see. Well, you guys probably can't see. Oh, the live scope unit. 33 degree water temps. Um, these fish will probably be here till water temps start to get into the 50s. Would be my guess. Uh, they don't really start moving shallow until the water temps start getting into the 50s and then they'll push into these shallower bays where there's fresh weed growth once the ice melts. So if you're looking for bluegill, depending on the time of year, start in the spawning bays and then kind of work out based on water temperature. Oh, swing and a miss. So typically once water temps are holding in the upper 50s, low 60s, that's when they'll start spawning way back in the spawning bays. If it's colder than that, just kind of work your way out. 
from those spawning bays. And again, I'm in 16 feet of water, but these fish are suspended down about 12, 13 feet. Well, as you can see, the camera's starting to get a little grainy, and that happens when the, there's not enough camera light underneath the ice. We're, we only got probably half hour left of daylight, so probably gonna have to wrap it up here pretty soon. But man, that small little adjustment, downsizing the jig, going with the red color, made all the difference. I mean, I've, I don't know how many Uga I've caught here in the last like 10 minutes, but it's been quite a few. And they, I mean, they're just super aggressive. There he is. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not down there more than 10 to 15 seconds, and I'm just catching these bluegill one after the other. Ton of fun catching these fish. Ooh, see, see you, buddy. If I get one more big one, I think I'm going to call it a day because we're losing video light down there. That is not really a big fish, I don't think. No, it's not. I'm gonna play keep away with this guy. Oh, there's a big blue wheel way in the back. See him? On the left side of that stump. There's another one right there. Oh, he just turned. There's a blue, big blue wheel that just turned. Here he comes. Oh, buddy. No. Everybody get away. Get away. Oh. That's the one on the far left side of the screen. That's the one I want. Gotta play keep away now. Yeah, I think that's the bluegill I want. Man, this little guy's super aggressive. Uh-oh. There we go, here we go. Get out of there. Yeah, that's the one I want. That's probably gonna wrap it up today. That's a good gill. Oh yeah. He's probably an eight inch gill. But absolute feeding frenzy down there. Do me a favor, click that top link in the video description. Go to OTHfishing.com. Use the promo code Davis, get 20% off. Get geared up for springtime fishing. Use this under a jig and bobber setup, and uh, you're going to catch some bluegill. You're going to catch some crappie when these fish are up shallow. Or if you're trying to stock up on ice fishing gear for next season, go ahead, sign up, get some of this. Man, what a cool looking fish. Gotta love these fish. Gotta love them. All right, we'll see you in the next. Oh, if you got any comments or questions about any of the gear that I use today, post them in the comment section below. Otherwise, you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. I'll let this guy go. See you, buddy. And we'll see you in the next one.